Section 1. The Art of the Intro Grabbing Your Reader Think of the first line of your essay as a fishing line. Just as a fisherman carefully selects the right bait to attract fish, you must choose your words wisely to draw in your reader. You need a good hook to catch a reader's attention. This hook could be a surprising fact, a provocative question, or a vivid image that sparks curiosity. The introduction is your chance to reel them in. Make it snappy. Make it interesting. Think of it as the gateway to your story or argument. If the gate is inviting, people will want to step through. Make them want to read more. Your goal is to create a sense of anticipation, a feeling that something valuable lies ahead. A strong intro sets the stage. It's like the opening act of a play where the scene is set and the characters are introduced. It should give a glimpse of the themes and ideas that will be explored. It tells the reader what to expect. A well-crafted introduction provides a roadmap guiding the reader through the journey you're about to take them on. It's a promise of what's to come. Just like unwrapping a gift, the introduction should build excitement and set the tone for the rest of the piece. Don't be afraid to be bold and creative. Take risks with your opening lines. Sometimes the most unexpected beginnings are the most memorable. Remember, you have just a few sentences to make a good first impression. Make them count. Every word should serve a purpose, drawing the reader deeper into your narrative. What will make your reader bite? Think about what would intrigue you as a reader. What kind of opening would make you want to keep reading? What are some of your favorite opening lines from books or essays? Reflect on why they work and how they set the stage for the story or argument. Use these insights to craft your own compelling introductions. Section 2. Why section intros matter. Guiding the way. Now imagine your essay as a journey. Each section is a new leg of the trip. Section introductions are like signposts. They guide the reader, showing them where you're going next. Without clear section intros, your reader might feel lost. They won't know what to expect or how each part connects to the bigger picture. Keep your reader engaged by giving them a little preview at the start of each section. Let them know what's coming and why it matters. Have you ever felt lost while reading an essay? How can good section intros help? Section 3. Hook, Line and Sinker. Techniques for Engaging Intros. Crafting an engaging introduction is like setting the perfect bait for a fish. You need to entice your reader right from the start. So how do you write a captivating section intro? It's all about grabbing attention and making a promise of value. Your introduction should be a gateway that invites the reader to explore further. Think back to that fishing analogy. You need a tempting bait to hook your reader. Just as a fisherman selects the right lure, you must choose the right words and techniques to draw your audience in. Here are a few techniques. Each method can be a powerful tool in your writing arsenal. Start with a question. Have you ever wondered? Questions are a great way to engage your reader's curiosity. They create a sense of intrigue and invite the reader to think. Questions pique curiosity and draw the reader in. They make the reader feel involved and eager to find out the answer. Use a surprising fact or statistic. Did you know that? A surprising fact can jolt your reader into paying attention. It can be an eye-opener that makes them want to learn more. A startling piece of information can grab attention. It can make your reader sit up and take notice, setting the stage for the information that follows. Share a relevant anecdote or quote, a short story or powerful quote can make your writing more relatable. Personal stories or famous quotes can create a connection with your reader. Remember, variety is key. Mix and match these techniques to keep your reader engaged. Don't rely on just one method. Use a combination to maintain interest. What other techniques can you think of for writing engaging introductions? Think about your audience and what would captivate them. The possibilities are endless, so experiment and find what works best for you. Section 4. The Power of Questions. Sparking Curiosity. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They serve as the bridge between the writer and the reader, creating a dynamic interaction that goes beyond mere words on a page. They invite the reader to think, to ponder, to engage with your words on a deeper level. When you pose a question, you are essentially opening a door for the reader to step through, encouraging them to explore the ideas you are presenting. Don't be afraid to ask questions throughout your essay, especially in your section introductions. These questions can serve as a guide, 
leading your reader through the complex landscape of your thoughts and arguments. A well-placed question can create suspense, highlight a key point, or simply encourage reflection. It can make your reader pause and think, what does this mean for me? Or how does this relate to what I already know? It shows that you're not just presenting information, but inviting a dialogue with your reader. This dialogue can make your writing feel more personal and engaging, as if you are having a conversation with each individual reader. Think of questions as little sparks that ignite curiosity. Each question you ask can light up a new path of inquiry, leading your reader to new insights and understandings. Use them wisely to keep your reader engaged and eager to learn more. The right question at the right time can transform a passive reader into an active participant in your narrative. What are some examples of questions that you could use in your own writing? Consider questions that challenge assumptions, provoke thought, or invite the reader to see things from a new perspective. By doing so, you not only enrich your writing, but also create a more interactive and thought-provoking experience for your reader. Section 5. Transitioning smoothly, connecting your thoughts. Section introductions aren't just about introducing new ideas, they're also about connecting those ideas to what came before. Smooth transitions are crucial for creating a cohesive and enjoyable reading experience. Think of transitions as bridges between your thoughts. They help the reader follow your train of thought and see how each section builds upon the previous one. Use transition words and phrases like, however, therefore, in addition, or on the other hand, to signal shifts in your argument or introduce contrasting viewpoints. What are some other transition words and phrases that you can use in your writing? Section 6. Examples and actions seeing intros at work. Let's look at some examples of effective section introductions. Weak. Now I'll talk about the benefits of exercise. Strong. Ready to feel more energized, sleep better, and boost your mood? Let's explore the incredible benefits of regular exercise. Weak social media has its downsides. Strong. From cyberbullying to information overload, social media's dark side can have a profound impact on our mental well-being. Notice how the stronger examples are more specific, engaging, and relevant to the reader. They pique curiosity and set the stage for the information to come. Can you rewrite these weak introductions to make them stronger? Section 7. Finding your voice, making it personal. While it's important to follow writing conventions, don't be afraid to let your personality shine through. Your writing should reflect your unique voice and perspective. Infuse your introductions with your own style, whether it's humorous, conversational, or thought-provoking. Let your reader connect with you on a personal level. Remember, writing is a form of self-expression. Embrace your individuality and let your voice be heard. How would you describe your writing voice? What makes it unique? Section 8. Practicing the craft honing your skills. Just like any skill, writing engaging introductions takes practice. The more you write, the better you'll become at crafting compelling hooks and smooth transitions. Don't be afraid to experiment with different techniques and find what works best for you. Try free writing, brainstorming, or outlining to generate ideas. Remember, even the most experienced writers revise and refine their work. Embrace the process and enjoy the journey of improving your craft. What are some ways that you can challenge yourself to improve your writing skills? Section 9. Embracing the process. It's okay to not be perfect. Writing can be daunting, especially if you're striving for perfection. But here's a secret. Perfection is overrated. It's okay to make mistakes, to stumble, to try again. Don't let the fear of failure hold you back. Embrace the messy, imperfect process of writing. Remember, every writer starts somewhere. The most important thing is to keep writing, to keep learning, and to keep growing. Celebrate your progress and enjoy the journey. What are some of your biggest writing challenges? How can you overcome them? Section 10, the last word. Keep writing, keep engaging. Mastering the art of writing engaging introductions is a journey not a destination. It's about constantly experimenting, learning, and refining your craft. Remember to hook your reader, guide them through your ideas, and spark their curiosity with thought-provoking questions. Most importantly, keep writing 
and keep sharing your voice with the world. What did you learn from this essay? What tips will you apply to your own writing?